see here is one that's big wow. and blue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So this machine is a fully automatic machine. So it, when you turn it on, there'll be a fan that starts. Well, okay. it's air cooled. Mm. You have a big door here. You do have a pretty good sized channel in here. Okay. One of the challenges with this machine is that the suction ports are down in the bottom of the trough. Mm. So here's a machine you want to be pretty careful with liquids with. Yeah, because it's sucked down in. If they suck down in, um, it's just not real fun for the pump. That means it has to come home to me and we have to clean it. So okay. um, it's not something that you can really play with in that fashion. So it's best to pre-freeze stuff with this machine. Okay. Um, use it for dry goods. The carriage is actually wide enough that you can do two eight inch bags at one time in this machine. Oh, oh so you can put so one here and one here. here. Right, so oh. as long as you have heat bar there, you can lay a bag on it. Okay. And it is wide enough that you can put two eight inch bags on there. That's nice. And this one, so, so this one has two heat seal bars, like the other one, uh, other two styles that we saw. Does this one have an issue with overheating or needing rest? Um, it doesn't, It. let's see, this one will probably overheat a little bit faster okay. than the other stainless steel one we looked at. Okay. Um, and it does, this is just a bumper. Yeah. And the heat seal bar is down here. So you still only have one set of heat in this machine. Okay. okay. And this is a flat heat wire across here where the other one has a little bit of a bump to it. So it's, it's more of a crimping heat seal. Okay. So the other one does seal a bag when it's wet a little bit better. Okay. But this one has the advantage of being able to do two at once. It certainly is shiny. Yeah, it's large, <laughs> um, but it's nice that you can do two bags at once because if you need to get 10 things sealed up, it really does take half the amount of time. It does take Even half the Even though it's a time. big machine, it's still mm -hmm. stainless steel. <laughs> and you can also do, um, you can buy 15 inch wide bags for this machine. Oh, nice. Okay, so now if you're trying to stuff a turkey into a bag, the 15 inch wide bag is going to be able to take to accommodate that size of product. Okay. Another thing that's nice where this has such a wide uh, trough is that you can, not everybody seals just food. Sometimes I seal up or vacuum pack swimsuits or things that I know I'm not going to mm -hmm. use for another year and then slide it under my bed just to save some space. And this is really nice if you want to package up like a blanket or, and it's not wet at all. So this machine would handle that probably a lot better than that littler machine. This is true. Mm. Mm -hmm. So it's good all around. There, you know, there's pluses and minuses all the way up and down the deck. You just have to pick the one that fits the, the size and space in your kitchen and the right. ones that are going to match your decor. Okay, great. So this one you said is a little uh, challenging when you start doing things with a lot of water, but at my work, we package things up every evening and we're using machines similar to this every day. What kind of machine would you suggest for things a little more liquidy, but massive amounts of use. Well, I really can't recommend any of the home style machines for restaurant kind of uses, primarily because the bags are so expensive that um, you, you end up throwing away more money in bag material than you do in mm. food. Yeah. Which is primarily the reason that machines like this haven't been introduced into the restaurant industry very much. Okay. So what gets used there is machines where the bags are flat and come in boxes of a thousand. Yeah. And a thousand bags sounds like an awful lot to a homeowner. Yeah, right? but mean, in the restaurant business where we're pack packaging up hamburger patties or large batches of cut tomatoes that we know we're going to use the next day, but you can't just leave it out. Right. So exactly. You'll go and through a when, thousand bags fairly quickly. Right, I think. and when you're doing 15, 20 bags in a sitting, yeah, pretty easy. Then you know, 30 days down the road, you've gone through 300 bags. That's a bunch. Yeah, so moving into a bigger style machine, the bag price goes down a little. It goes down a lot. Okay. So these types of machines use a textured bag material. Okay. And the next set of machines we're going to show you use a flat bag material. And your flat bag materials are much less expensive. Okay. Okay, this is probably a little bit more machine than you need in your new yeah. kitchen. <laughs> but at the restaurant, where um, you're going to go through a lot more product, this type of machine puts the whole bag inside of the chamber. Oh. So while you can't do 
those 15 inch wide really big ones until you get a machine that's quite a bit bigger. Mm -hmm. um, you can do like about 100 packages in an hour with this oh, machine. So okay. you don't have to stop and let it cool down. And it's also big enough to do a 12 by 14 inch bag, okay. which is a lot of food. I mean, it's like a five pound piece of meat. So okay. that's a good size package. The chamber size is pretty deep, so you have a bunch of different plates in here that come out so you can get a lot of depth in this chamber. Oh, I see. Yeah, it keeps going down. Yeah, <laughs> so it's a lot deeper than it looks. Right. So I it see. goes way down in the bottom. Okay. Okay. And the lip of the bag still needs to come up and lay over this, though. Right. Okay. That is your heat seal wire. That's yeah. what's going to melt the bag shut. Okay. So this is perfect if we have a whole bunch of cut up tomatoes, like, you know, a big batch and we know it's going to go bad quickly, but we don't want to have to do it in individual packages and the other machine can't really handle a lot of juice, so we right. put it in something like this when we know we're going to mm -hmm. suck up a lot of juicy stuff. Either that or if you have a lot of production to do. Okay. Have, it's, it's, this is the kind of thing, the other, all the other smaller machines need a little bit of space in between each heat cycle. Right. This type of machine just goes in and out as fast as you can go with it. The other machines seem like something I would use in my kitchen for just daily use, you know, a little bit of leftovers for dinner, package up some strawberries, little stuff like that that I know I'm going to use a little bit every day. This is more fishermen and hunters, I would think. Yeah. We are selling more and more of this style of machine to those fishermen and hunters because they process, they essentially process their own food. So right. they are doing a lot more packing than just the occasional bag after dinner kind of thing. Okay, so this type of thing, once you put the food into the bag, uh, put it in, the lip goes here, close it, it just does everything for you. It, it just, just sucks, you don't have to hold the bag or position it or anything. It just does everything all by itself. Wow, that's cool, okay. Then after it gets sealed, the bag is empty, the chamber is empty, the bag is empty, and then all of a sudden you let all this air back into the chamber and it smacks the bag. So then at the end, when let's say this was fish or something juicy, there's no water in here at all. Right, exactly. Wow. Easy cleanup too. For, Very easy cleanup. For something that you're going to do a lot of, it keeps the job pretty clean keeps the job pretty clean. Great. And you can do a lot of it in right now. Yeah, it was pretty fast. And then if you got it all li lined up and just put it in, suction it out, put it in, you could get a lot done. I've had guys tell me if everything's set in the blocks, you can do like 100 bags in an hour with wow. a machine like this. Great. Okay, so now I know how they all work. You can buy me this one whenever you want. <laughs> <laughs> and a big kitchen to go with it. <laughs> no, this is your house. It's gonna, I already gave you your vacuum packer. Okay, so you well, can I love either, it. So you can either use that little one or you can step up to this one. There's a big, wide variety of machines to choose from. Well, this is much more than I need, but I know a lot of people that can use this, businesses especially. So thanks for explaining them all. Okay. Well, you have fun and... We'll see you later. Okay. <laughs>